Hello, and welcome to the third video in our series of new Resolume Effect plugins, soon to go on sale at the Juice Bar. Now, to recap, the Juice Bar is the official Resolume VJ Software plugin store. You can find many new and cool plugins there that will help you take your VJ sets to the next level. You'll be able to find this plugin and any other plugin featured in this video series on sale there soon. Today, we're going to look at what I think is the most powerful plugin in the series. And that plugin is called the Beat Blocker plugin. The Beat Blocker plugin allows you to cut between two layers on beat, every beat, perfectly every time. Now let's look at a composition that I have set up beforehand. We have four layers, each with a piece of content loaded into it. But right now we're going to focus on, on the top two layers, layers three and four. Let's start with layer four. What we're going to do is on layer four, selected layer four, uh, four, God. And we're going to load in our beat blocker from our wire effects uh, selection here. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at the controls. Of course, you get the standard blend modes and opacity controls that come with every standard plugin. But under that, you'll see our first set of wire defined controls the hold on, beat blocking, on off, and empty. Now, by default, uh, trigger that that piece of content by default you're not going to see you know anything really happening besides the content playing and that's because by default this pro the plugin starts with the hold on setting like the last one like the like in the um <clears throat> like in the last video we essentially have three different controls we have hold on beat blocking and off and empty again if you wanted to want it to be off and empty, you choose the off and empty. If you want it just to hold on, hold on. But the real magic happens when you start beat blocking. When you click on beat blocking, you'll notice that it'll start cutting between the content and black right away. Now underneath the hold on and off and empty settings, we have the speed. And this essentially controls how fast the cuts go from half from half time or half a measure to one fourth one eighth one sixteenth one thirty two and one sixty four underneath the speed controls we have our wave controls again the cutting is used is being controlled by essentially an oscillator so we have a square wave which is harsh cuts Triangle wave, which is smooth transitions. Sine wave, which is a little more dramatic, but essentially you know, the same kind of fade in and fade out. And saw, which is a fade in and hard cut. Now underneath the wave setting, we have our offset. And the offset is really what makes this tool kind of shine. So while this is cutting right now, we set it back to the square wave, on and off, What's what? What's happening essentially is you're seeing the content being cut to black. If we go to layer three, apply the beat blocker, turn on the offset, and make sure that the speed and the wave are essentially set to the same, set to one fourth. When we turn on beat blocking, oh, let me trigger our content. You'll see it'll start cutting between layer three and layer four, essentially creating a two channel mixer. Now this is a very powerful tool for if, as long as you apply it to the layer, you can have as many clips on each layer and cut between them and it will always be on beat, every beat, perfectly every time. Now if we look at the two bottom layers, layer two and layer three, Let's apply the beat blocker to those guys. But to spice it up a little bit, we'll choose a different speed and a different type of uh, fade. We'll, we'll go a triangle and one half on layer one. And on layer two, we'll go one eighth and a saw. And we'll turn on the offset. Now keep in mind, Layer two, because the offset is on, will turn on 
the same time layer three that also has the offset on. So if you want, you know, content to play in concert with each other, you have to pay attention to which layers have the offset set on and off. Let's trigger those clips and turn on beat blocking. And now you see, we have a very complex visual rhythm going by using four different layers, all of them turning on and off at different times. And if that's not enough, you can actually take it to the next level and turn these four layers into essentially a four channel mixer. The way we're gonna do that is by using the A and B settings you'll find on every layer. So for example, let's turn layer four and three to layer A or bank A and layer one and two to B. Let's go back to these guys, Let's set them all to one fourth, one fourth and square wave. Now, if you fade left to right using the crossfader found at the very bottom of the layer menu, you'll see that essentially we have now a four channel mixer. A being layers one, being layers four and three, and bank B being layers one and two. So you can see how the beat blocker could be a very useful tool for building visual rhythm into your VJ sets and adds a ton of cool and fun mixing um, capabilities to Resolum that used to be accomplished with a lot more tooling around in the background and using things like cue points and auto poly like and stuff like that. This to me is a very quick, and very easy way to turn Resolume into a more VJ friendly uh, piece of software. And the beautiful part is it's all linked to the BPM. So as the BPM changes, if we cut it in half, you don't really have to go back in and mess with a lot of the settings. I find myself mostly MIDI mapping the speeds and the waves and turning this thing on and pretty much going throughout the whole night, especially if I'm mixing video to something like house music. Well, that's pretty much all you need to know about the beat blocker, and this ends the tutorial. You can, uh, down, you'll find a download link to the juice bar right down below. Uh, please like, comment, or subscribe if you found this useful or you wanna stay up to date on new plugins from Cadian Multimedia. If you have any questions, feature requests, or bugs you want to report, you can find my email below. And as always, happy VJing.